a video on using a uh, student tracker to uh, filter for the Dibbles assessment. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to open up this orange tab, student tracker groups, and then click on student tracker. We're going to create an automatic group. And then you're going to select your school. and apply filters. That's going to bring up the stool, school uh, students that you have access to. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to um, scroll down until we see assessment. Select your filters. So we're going to select the current school year. We're going to select the assessment. In this case, I'm going to look at the grade two screener. And you'll want to make sure that you let each filter load before you select the next one. And then we're going to select the beginning of the year. So beginning of the year will be labeled one. If it was middle of the year, it would be labeled two. And the end of the year screeners would be labeled three. So I'm going to select on one. And you could go ahead and select all of these assessment items. However, we don't recommend that because if a student is missing even one number, they will be eliminated from this list. And since most students did not do the maze this year, I'm going to unselect these and just select the correct letter sound for an example. And I'm going to select my students who are at risk for this particular category. And then what we're going to do is we're going to apply the filters. So you can see a list of students who meet all of these criteria. So they would be students who've taken the grade two screener, they've had the correct letter sound or CLS, and they would be deemed at risk according to the benchmarks for the beginning of the year. Other things that you can do is filter um, by the numbers right here using these small arrows. And you can create a PDF and download it to your device or you can create an Excel spreadsheet. And that would and that would create a spreadsheet for that uh, criteria using that criteria.